morning, good evening. Salut, bonjour, enchanté. Shalom, salam, mihao, bog. That's Croatian. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to my baptism video. Friends, family, fellow humans around the world. Um, I've decided to get baptized here today in um, Croatia in what has been a profound and forging year on my walk with God. So I've written a little testimony here and um, yeah, here it goes. I wrote most of this sitting at a cafe in Jerusalem last week, so no pressure, but I hope it can match that level of holiness. <laughs> Thank you for joining me wherever you are. Um, and I apologize if there's lots of background noise because of the waves. Today I'm sharing this baptism celebration with my close family here in sunny Croatia, where I'm traveling at the moment and with my church family around the world watching this video. I'm blessed to have a church family all around the place, so it was really hard for me to pick one location in which to be baptized. So I've chosen this remote spot on the Adriatic Sea, and um, you're all invited to come and celebrate with me virtually, because apparently that's what people do these days. So honestly, I was... I was, um, I was stuck on where to start. God is so infinitely beautiful and powerful and mysterious and already in my little existence, I can't even begin to fathom the, the breadth of his nature. I was asked by a friend about a year ago, who is Jesus to you? My answer was, still is and always will be, everything. I'm not sure this was quite the um, theological answer she was getting at. Right. Hey, I'm not quite sure when I first met Jesus, it wasn't like a dramatic moment I can pinpoint, but I can say I've grown up knowing God all my life. So sure, there are lots of other creeds, deities, philosophies, but nowhere have I ever come across anything that screams love to me like Jesus. Nothing has remotely come close. Nothing screams utter devotion and radical loving kindness like God does. Like this primal force, this supreme, creative, cosmic entity that would desire connection with, with us. It chooses to reveal himself to humanity through this random tribe in the Middle East, takes on this insanely brutal death that we deserved when we disrupted his perfect and natural order, and is raised to life, all that we might live and know him as he intended us to. Nothing screams love to me like a perfect God who chooses to sacrifice himself for his creation. I find it all the more unbelievable that this incredible message of salvation has reached me, another random homo sapien from a completely different tribe on a completely different continent two millennia later. Me, a completely undeserving little human being, somehow loved by the all-powerful creator of the universe, Yahweh, Elohim, Jehovah, full of mystery and power, and somehow full of the grace to call me his own, to call me his child, to call me loved. Indeed, this is what the name Keris roughly translates to in Welsh, love and grace. Now, over the years, the more I get to know him, the more I fall utterly in love with this God. When I cry out into the void from, from the abyss of despair, who answers? Jesus. Nothing screams love to me like a God who answers. A God who is with me through the highs and through the lows, through the thick and thin, even through the valley of death. Nothing screams love to me like a God who walks alongside me, who reveals himself to me every day through signs and wonders, thoughts and feelings, visions, dreams, conversations with people, and of course through reading back on thousands of years of recorded human interactions with this God. And you know, just through the miracle of like waking up every day. And so today is me screaming back to God, 
I want to get baptized to declare my faith in him publicly, to celebrate my relationship with Jesus, which I think is the single best thing I've ever had and will ever know. It's my source of salvation, of life, of truth, of peace, of joy, of freedom, hope, identity. I, I could go on. I suppose it's a decision I made once and I make every day, but I affirm it today. To not do things my own way, but to trust in God's way. If you will, to die to myself when I go into the water and to rise a new creation in Christ. I'm so thrilled to join the billions of believers who have been baptized in water and in spirit for thousands of years, ever since Jesus' own baptism in the River Jordan. I'm not sure of many things, but there is nothing I'm convicted of as much as this. That God is there and that he loves me. And if you take one thing away from this video, you've made it to the end. Like, in that case, thank you first. But take this good news. Just as God loves me, man, does he love you too. And so I finish with one of my all-time favorite verses from the Bible, which pretty much sums up why and what this is about. From the book of John. For God so loved the world. For God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son that anyone who believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So bring on eternal life. <laughs> Hello everyone! Woo! Let's go! Bless this water! That whoever goes into it and is baptised today becomes one with God and his church. Woohoo! Keris, do you reject the devil and all his lies? I do! Do you reject all people's ways of living? I do! Do you reject your own way of living? I do! Or will you follow Jesus' way of living? Yes, I will. So on your testimony and your declaration of faith, we baptise you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's go. Amen.